Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here, and this is tutorial number 52. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue looking at form validation, but uh, we are more specifically going to be looking at how to require numbers from the user. Uh, so in other words, let's say we ask the user for their age, then we want them to place or input a value that is a number. So in other words, if the user was 22, we want them to put the value of 22, not uh, type in the words 22. Okay, so um, that's pretty much what we're going to check for. And uh, I hope you guys are noticing, but uh, this code is basically all the standard code um, that we've been using so far, except um, the form is just a little bit different it is submitting right back to the exact same page that we are on uh, like I did in the form validation uh, mini series which you guys hopefully should have watched okay so let's go ahead now and um, just ask the user for their age so input type of text so that they can place uh, whatever they want to type in here and then we'll go ahead and give this a name of age okay and because they're submitting this uh, page back to itself because there's no action here in the opening form tag we can go ahead and write all the code to handle this form up over here and the first thing I want to do is check if age is not empty so let's go ahead and say if uh, not empty uh, and remember we're checking for not empty with the exclamation mark and the word empty and we'll go ahead and throw our um, dollar underscore post age value in over here and this is going to check if age is not empty. So if age isn't empty, let's go ahead and now check if age is indeed a number. Okay. And to do that, we're going to use another if statement. So if, and I'm going to use a function here called is numeric. So is underscore numeric. And this function will take an argument in the parentheses over here which will check if age is actually entered in as a numeric number or um, just like uh, text okay so if it's text then it's going to be a string okay and the value that we can place in here is the same thing we've got up here control C control V and then uh, we can go ahead and if age is numeric echo out um, yes that is numeric otherwise uh, we can say else and we can echo out um, no that is not numeric no that is not numeric please enter a numeric value okay and that way whenever um, the user puts in a value we can check whether the age is numeric or not so let me go over to Firefox over here uh, click refresh and you can see I was checking up stuff on the PHP manual but hey um, hmm? why am I getting a yes that is numeric message already tutorial 52 okay yeah, sorry, I was practicing this beforehand and then I just cleared out the code. But let's go ahead now and actually test uh, if this works. So let's put in a value of 22. Click Submit. Yes, that is numeric. Let's go ahead now and put in a value of uh, 22. So we type the value in. Click Submit. No, that is not numeric please enter a numeric value okay so we basically now know how to uh, check 
if a number is numeric or not. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So um, I hope you guys will be able to use this in a future video or I'm going to use it in a future video, but I hope you guys will be able to use it in the future just to check whether the user has entered a number or not. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. So I will see you guys next time. But as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I'll see you guys next time.